Hey Felix, so I played around with your model a little bit. Uh, the first thing I did was just take out the relevant portions from your model because you had a bunch of iterations in there. It was very large, and sometimes that can cause problems. Plus, just simplifying is better um, if we're having any issues. I also made a, a separate little test module here that was kind of similar to yours, just to, to if I was having problems um, with yours, which I did initially. Uh, and I simplified the site because initially I, I couldn't, yours was confusing me, but then I think I figured out what the issues were. Uh, so the very, after I brought the, uh, the model in, I also cleaned it up a little bit and you could clean it up even more, but you want to have more layers. So for example, you had everything as a wall, essentially, let me turn off the solar. So I, um, I turned, I, I made a roof layer. Uh, and um, put the roofs for both of these little buildings. Um, oops, roofs. This is there's actually a roof here too, but you had, you had built the floor. Um, this is one plate coming out for both of these, and so I, I didn't feel like cutting that up, so I just turned this into a floor. Um, the whole thing. So um, actually, let me go to a different simulation here. So the first simulation I ran. I got this, uh, and it, I, I couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting any, uh, or I was getting very little light into the into this room. Uh, and you can see in my version, uh, there's a lot more. Uh, it turned out um, what was going on was your glazing. So I'm, I'm going to run a second simulation here um, with no glazing. And now we see we have a much more similar uh, daylight study between these two. And remember. What, is, what are these colors talking about? So we're at right here by the window, for example, in my little version, we're at 10.6. That's that's a daylight factor of 10.6, which means we took the ambient outdoor overcast sky light. Uh, so we always do this with the over, overcast sky, uh, and that has a certain had a certain uh, no, uh, let's say it was lux, um, whatever units we used. Let's say um, so. That was what's outside, and then we took the value inside and divided the value inside from the value outside, and we got 10. Uh, and generally, we're looking for something between 2 to 5. So this is a little bit hot, but then we have a lot of really cold in here um, in terms of uh, light. Uh, anyway, so how did I um, get this different uh, outcome over here? Well, I just took the glazing out completely. Uh, and the reason I did that was because I looked at your glazing, um, and we, I saw some. I saw why. Uh, first of all, we have uh, this is sort of an aside because this is not related directly to the um, uh, daylighting, but uh, we have a solar heat gain coefficient of 0.3. That means that we're only getting 30% of the heat that's hitting that window. Only 30% is going through the glass. Uh, which in some cases would be good because we would want to uh, reduce the amount of heat we're gaining from glass. But in this case, you're trying to get as much as you can, I think, uh, we were saying. Um, maybe not. Yeah, I think that was true. Um, so we probably want to find glass with a higher solar heat gain coefficient. Um, and then, But here's the real issue with, with visibility or, or um, daylighting is that we have a T visible. That's, that's, that's light in the visible spectrum. It's only 28% of what is hitting the glass. So this is blocking a huge amount of visible light. So I think if we just pick something, I'm going to go to the top where it's going to be really bad. We have a really high U value, so it's horrible. That's that's less than R1, I think. Um, but we have a decent, you could get much higher solar heat gain coefficient. I don't really understand why it's only 53. We can get 75 in, in a high performance glazing package like this. But anyway, we have a much higher solar heat gain coefficient here. And then we have a very high um, visibility. Oh, I thought we had one. Jeez, these are not that. I, I would think we we could find something much higher than that too. But let me just scroll down through here. Interesting. Here's one seventy-five. Yeah, this is this is better in all counts. So this is a a, a double pane piece of glass with a solar heat gain coefficient of 0.6. And a, a visibility of um, 75. Let me check one thing. Yeah. Let me find that one again. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, it? I don't want to get into any more 
make this more complex than I need to. I'm trying to find that one again. There we go. Okay, so let's try that one. Uh, so all our glazing is that now. We got to, you always have to cover these up again, or you would just get a ton of light in there. Uh, and let's run this again. I'll go ahead and put this, I don't think this matters, but I'll turn that on. I'm just going to let it run. Let's see if there's anything else I can say uh, while we're doing this. Um, Yeah, I mean, well, I'll show you in a second. The reason I have this on, right, why I turned the sun shadows on is because um, I was also thinking, man, this is not that much light coming in. And then when I just looked at the sun, I realized why. I mean, it's kind of obvious. But let's, so, anyway, let's see what this is. I don't know what it's going to end up being. Turn off the... Yeah, so we got more in with that glazing than with the... Than with the, uh, the, the, the a lot more, actually, than what you had picked. Um, so that would be an option, or just to take the glass out, I guess, for this, or you know, look for something uh, that has even a higher um, visible, visible light spectrum being allowed in. But anyway, even in the context of the class, now we, we have uh, experimented, or we've, in an intelligent way, adjusted the performance of the envelope um, by changing parameters and then seeing the, what... Uh, what their quantitative, the quantitative effect is. But if we were going to ask ourselves, well, why is this, didn't this seem like not very much light? Um, one thing we can do to check that is um, just look at, look at the sun. So let me actually t turn off all these. I actually had to pause to figure it out. There, <laughs> to turn off the simulations, you, you just have to um, click this deselect all. So if I had, if I was showing a simulation, I can hit deselect all to get rid of them. And I forgot to tell you too that I put my uh, the daylight surface. Those are those um, the surfaces surfaces on which your um, the daylight is is being collected or measured from. That's where the sensors are. So I'm gonna turn that off. And so now, if we're looking at um, just our sun back to here and we just think about the year so I'm gonna to go to December now so think about it if what we're seeing with with these shadows this is what would actually be coming in um, as we get closer to summer you see as soon as you see this white back here um, that's because there's no ceiling no roof on this so the only light that's actually coming in is what is what is in the shape of the windows um, so if we think about it, then if we just kind of scroll through this, here we are in the winter. Um, you know, on a day in the winter, we've got, so it's, uh, you know, starts coming in very back, far back corner uh, at like 9.30. There's, you know, there's a decent amount there now at noon. But now we're at, we, you know, we're at, at 2.30. Um, we've already had no light in here because we have, we have no west windows and we have no east windows. So it's um, uh, not that much sun, really. And then as we move through the year. So now we're getting, we're in November, October, um, as, as we get, get I'm going backwards, backwards as, as we get more towards summer, we're getting, getting remember the, the only light now in here is this little, little bit right here. here. And then and we're, we're talking about all day, day now. So if, if, I, if I, I do this, go back in the morning, come across. Um, so there really isn't that much light coming from these two little windows in the south. Um, I was showing it focusing over here because this is a white surface and you, you had a color on your floor, so it's not as clear. You have even less sun uh, on your, uh, you know, in, in your uh, floor plan. So, um, so this is making sense, is what I'm saying. I think this is accurate for the amount of sun for this particular design. By the way, I did not mention, I just used the New York... Um, Climate, so I turned the building around. I should have mentioned that to you. So here's north down here. So I just I just flipped it around again. I was just testing this. Um, now let's let's now look at a couple other things. Um, go back to the. I did do a um, a glare study. 
Actually, I'm going to go ahead and change the name of this one. This is Daylight Factor um, Better Glazing, or I should say High Viz Glazing. Uh, but I did a glare study, and this is with, with the other glazing, so we'll try it with the new glazing and see what happens. I mean, this is with no glazing. And um, we see that, so, and you should look this up and do some experimentation yourself, but these, pretty intuitive. And there's, there's other, um, see, as I see as I'm uh, scrolling over these, these, these pie charts, uh, the chart in the study over here is changing. Um, so I can see uh, in more detail what that particular time of day, uh, that, that part of the pie chart um, means from a data perspective. But basically, real straightfor a straightforward um, explanation, the, um, the reds are bad. <laughs> they're they're uh, glare that's uncomfortable to humans. Um, and we see so then, you know, I have a fair amount by the front, none at the back. If I was, if this were a sun area that I didn't want to need to work in or be in, when it was sunny, it'd be fine. You have even less. Um, and so it's a really a question of what you're doing right here. But since you have, um, you know, you really can, can control it by um, using, and you have, and then you have this whole area back here underneath here that's, that's not, has no glare at all. So I don't think you have a glare problem at all. But let's go ahead and run this glare study with the new glazing just for fun. And this is actually fun for me. I don't know about you, but <laughs> I like this stuff. Um, I'm going to run. Oh, I got to. Put my uh, floor and walls, the roof on, and the daylight services, I guess. Go ahead and put your solar back on. I don't think it makes any difference. And run it. Actually, this is for fun. Yeah, it, I can already see it's less. Anything else I want to tell you? I don't think so. I'm just going to wait for this to finish and we'll look at it. Should be done. Okay. Turn off the floors and the roof. So let's compare them. You know, really, we don't probably want the sun on. That's not any good. Um. So if we compare, it's a little bit less, but not really that much by the front. Doesn't have much of an effect at all. So um, we can use that glass or not, and it wouldn't uh, matter in terms of our glare. So it's good to know. Let's see. I'm going to say Also notice I, I don't think I named this one in a clear, uh, clear way. All right. Um, so that's I, I. Hopefully you'll be able to get your daylight study working from that from this. I can send you this model if you want me to. You just have to ask me to. But I think you ought to be able to figure it out by looking at this. Uh, but either way, I'm happy to send it to you. Um, all right. That's it. I hope this helps. Talk to you later.